A surge and a stark warning. The Trump administration is now planning to open a new temporary shelter in Texas with up to 3,000 beds for children as they wrestle with the skyrocketing number of migrants at the southern border. More than 11,000 minors were apprehended just last, last month. And now, after six migrant children have now died in U.S. custody, one of the most prominent doctors in the country is warning that more of these children will die as well unless permanent changes are made and made now. Dr. Colleen Kraft from the American Academy of Pediatri Pediatrics writing in the Houston Chronicle this in part. For children under 18, conditions in DHS custody are not only unsafe but potentially deadly. This agency has proven repeatedly that it cannot care for children. Security personnel are not medical professionals. They play an important role in cybersecurity and preventing illegal drugs and weapons from entering our country. They should not be in charge. They should not be charged with meeting the basic needs of children, though. Dr. Kraft joins me now. It's good to see you again, doctor. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Kate. So you have been to the, to the facilities where some of these children are held. That was the, la the first time that we actually spoke last summer was after one of your visits. Now that you're writing, now that you, now you're writing that no child should be subjected to these facilities at all, where they're sleeping on cement floors, lights are on 24 seven, the temperatures can be frigid. What is it that you think people are missing about this? Because the conditions aren't changing, doctor, and the crisis is only getting worse. The problem is, is that we don't have medical experts on the ground in these facilities who know how to care for children. Combined with the fact that more and more of the people coming to the southern border are children. So that sets up a perfect storm where you have more children and you don't have people trained to know the difference between a child who is mildly ill and a child who's seriously ill. And that's going to lead to more and more deaths at the border. Well, and we know, we at least know of six children who've died in U.S. custody. And I was really struck when you wrote this. More children will continue to die if we don't make immediate permanent changes to the way that we treat them when they come here. And you say pediatricians are at least the short-term answer, I guess. Why is that? We have pediatricians on the ground telling us what's going on in these facilities, outside these facilities, with the children that they've seen in emergency departments and in their communities. And we know that we could monitor these situations and be of advice to the Department of Homeland Security on what's the right situation for children. We could be training some of the medical personnel that they do have on staff to notice the difference between a mildly ill and an acutely and, and seriously ill child. Well, and doctor, so we could be there to help this. Last time we spoke, you had been in touch with top officials about offering help. Why haven't, clearly nothing's come of it. Why aren't they taking you up on your offer? I think that they are, they, they care about what we have to say, but the differentiation is really in the action of what needs to be done for these children. So we have been very strong in putting to place that we need a pediatric presence where there are any children crossing the border. We mm -hmm. need to be training and monitoring these personnel, and that continues to be our message. I do want to ask you, because just yesterday we learned that the administration's canceling some programs for kids at these government facilities in order to save money. I mean, some, it's English classes, recreational programs, and legal aid. One quote that's really stuck out to me in response to them cutting off funds for activities like soccer are that they've been deemed, quote unquote, not directly necessary for the protection of life and safety, which is, I guess, their standard. As the former head of the American Academy of Pediatrics, what do you say about this? Children are developmentally different than adults, and children need more than just food and water. They need emotional support, they need recreation, they need exercise, they need education. All of these things help them thrive, and all of these things help to move them through adversity. And we have to get Congress to not roll back the protections of the Flores Settlement Agreement for these vulnerable children, because this takes away the amount of time that limits them their time in detention, as well as some of these other very necessary developmental items mm -hmm. that children need mm -hmm. to grow and thrive. Doctor, I really appreciate your, your perspective on this. Thank you so much.